Hey everybody, so this is going to be the beginning of Sam's wonderful road trip to the rig. And I just wanted to show you guys this is all of the crap baggage my wife has going to my truck. Now when I say baggage, well probably a lot of that's food and stuff and some of it's probably going to go in the dumpster, we'll find out. But basically from here This is all the crap. It looks like some stuff we might be tossing. She says there's like pillows and crap in that thing. Yes. And then those are, that's our clothes. Uh-huh. And I think that's her clothes. Yeah. And there's my stat rat. Woohoo! <laughs> I cannot wait. That is going to be so handy. That thing is like my special friend. Yeah. That, that's my, that's, that's my, that's better than a co-driver in a big truck right there. That thing, I'll show you guys. We're going to do a video on that thing. Really, it's just, oh, mm, yeah, you, you've you been needed for three weeks. I, where I used to work was air brag, air release, so that wasn't needed. But now I should have just made sure I had that. But anyways, all of this is going out. A lot of it's probably food, she says. Yes. We'll find out. So anyways, I'm going to cut this off here because it's already a minute and a half or close to. Um, and we're going to try to... Uh, Keep you guys in the loop on what's going on the rest of the day. And now, if you can't tell, we now have a camera light. So in the truck, we can video, and Sam can't see. I can't see you! Damn it! Anyways, I'm out of here. Hey, everybody. Zombie Hunter 28 here. Um, under our new title, The Traveling Robinsons. Um, just want to take a second and let you guys all know, uh, basically coming up this Wednesday will be my first full week. In other words, no truck in the shop. Uh, paycheck. Um, basically, uh, this week I did 2,285 loaded miles, 396 empty miles, um, and I made a little over 930 bucks. Um, basically, also, for all you that remember, um, I had to get a hotel with the first truck, um, and of course, you guys ask about, uh, if you have or haven't, ask about reimbursement on scales and stuff like that. Well, I'm looking at my receipt or my stub for my paycheck for the 31st, uh, and uh, it was, it's got on here my motel reimbursement for 6201. It's got all my scales from that lovely day that I had to scale two different tra of the trailer twice, you know, um, and the dates, which came up to like $92 and change, which is all back into my check. Um, and that should be after taxes come out. And then, of course, right now I'm spending an extra 40 bucks a check um, between the wife riding along and um, what do you call it? Uh, reimbursement for the lovely Swift lock that we have to have. Um, so basically, this like this week's take home paycheck. Um, is going to be I'm gonna get deposited into my account about almost eight hundred dollars that's a one week's paycheck now yes you gotta take that and minus off a hundred dollars so six hundred and seventy but that was at less than twenty three hundred miles now mind you my normal is usually closer to three thousand miles when everything's working right on the truck and uh, so um, we'll see what a higher mileage because Monday uh, with the wife along, we're going down to uh, Texas with a load from up here in Dexter, Michigan, going south that way. And uh, so at this point, um, you know what? I like the weekly paycheck. Um, you know, now the wife can look and go, okay, this is the stuff I got to do this week with the paycheck. So now she can figure it out before we even get the paycheck. So. Which is like barely anything now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Downside is even with the Chevy sitting, I still got to pay 100 bucks a month on insurance on it because it sits, and then I still got my student loan and then cell phones. Cell phones or storage. Yeah. Storage. So I got four bills. But if you figure if you figure 800 bucks a check at four a month, that's 3,200 dollars a month. I was making 24 le or less yep. at my old job. So yeah, I may be working like six, seven days a week, and I may be running eight, ten hour days. But the thing is, I don't have to worry about home time. I don't have to worry about lying on my logs. And uh, now I'm stuck with the wife, so. You can get some sleep. And I can get some sleep, which makes a whole difference, so. But yeah, um, and then the nice thing is, is on my receipt, it does show um, the mileage 
and um, the different cents per rate. And on average, I am doing anywhere from 34 to 40 cents per mile. Um, there's one where it was 32 because it was empty, looks like. But on average, I'm trying to think, I'm reading what they're loaded, empty, unauthorized. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, guys, um, you still got paid. I got, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I got paid. But yeah, it breaks it down on my paycheck stub. You know, I mean, I don't have to save these. It'll save all the way. I mean, I don't have to ever print them off. So, but in general, yeah, they're taking a bigger chunk out of me federally. But I think I did that on purpose because I want bigger back at the end of the year. But uh, it's already got four minutes. Ah! Um, anyways, um, in a couple of minutes, we'll probably do a video with the both of us after Sam gets her windblown hair all squared up. She looks like a little dog that went down the highway with his head out the window. I gotta check across the motel just to do laundry. On that note. <laughs> hey everybody, um, this is uh, Nick and Sam here um, on our new page. Um, I think Sam still has her page, um, but I closed down the Zombie Hunter 028. Um, I apologize to all my 220 subscribers. Um, Jerry's probably throwing out all of uh, my info in his newest update with Linda, um, but I'll probably beat him on the upload. I'll probably get this rendered up before he gets back from his barbecue. Anyways, the reason why we decided to switch gears all together is because, yeah, I know I did some videos and I did all the, the orientation stuff like that. Eventually that stuff will come back up. Um, but what it is, is Sam and I wanted to do a page that is basically us on the road. Um, a, you know, it's basically I'm doing all the driving and the actual working the, the hours of a truck driver and she's along for the ride but she's going to take care of everything from basically from the driver's seat from my understanding, which you agree yes, to, yes. driver's seat back. So in other words, you know, cooking, keeping the truck clean, making sure we got clean clothes, um, so basically, I did part of that today. Yeah, well, I've done that once myself during the week, too. Well, I wasn't there. Well, that's not my fault. Okay, anyways. So anyways, so basically, we we decided to go a whole new route with videos um, because it, we've got a new, uh, couple of new toys to play with on the road. Um, it's gonna be fun. If you look at uh, below my featured video, if this is my, if you're looking at my channel and this is below my featured um, you will see a link to a oh, Sam. Uh, we'll put the link here or somewhere. Um, but it'll be it'll be to a, a big rig uh, dash cam. Yes. And uh, that's coming up. That's that channel is a separate channel um, for all those that want to watch it. We have a dash cam that we're putting in the truck, so uh, that should be interesting. It runs. Uh, I think it says eight, 18 hours on a continuous at 15 minute intervals, recording or something like that. Yeah and then it loops back on itself, but it's also motion activated, so I can leave it on all the time and anything, it'll record. So anyways, um, basically what it is, is, is we're, what it boils down to is we're doing a new channel. Um, we're gonna try to do as many updates as we can. It could be a cross between every couple of days to like Jerry does once a week. Um, we're just gonna go with flow and see whatever happens. You know, I know we talked about launching this August 1st, but Sunday tomorrow, the 29th, we'll be down in our down in the rig, um, and that pile of crap is in the back of my Chevy. Thank God I got an eight foot bed. We filled it up. Half of it is. But half I of it was he kept calling me on the phone while he was gone, going, "We need to pack this and that." So it's your part and your fault too. So like anything you want to say about why we're doing what we're doing, other than it was just because of we got tired of. Originally, two years ago, we were looking at when I got into doing trucking, we were going to go over the road originally, but we didn't do it. We didn't do it because... We I got handed a local gig. Keyword right there. I got handed a local gig. Right. And I thought I was making good money. And for you guys that watched the chunk before this, um, you'll know that my fir my first full paycheck, I'm already making a hundred dollars more. Yep. And I'm only... And that's not even at full, if you, we can get you to run... 300, 300 miles more. Right. But One more day. Even... If we can get you to run, run, run. Well, if I can, if I can get it where I'm turning eight to ten hour days, you know, running four or five hundred miles a day, 
you know, you're looking right now, like I said, I was at 20, about 23, 2400 miles, and, um, you know, I get about three in there, you know, I'm making double any, any easily what I'm making at the other place, so. When we weighed all the pros and the cons between the cost of what we were spending on living versus non-living in a sense, it was... You mean money we were wasting at a exactly. place we were never home at? We, we estimated about $1,200 a month. One paycheck, on guys. Stuff. One of my paychecks at the old place. Right. Where, But we weren't home half the time. We had TV, internet, telephone, you know, and he's not home half the time. I'm running around, not barely home. It, it was a waste. It was just a complete waste. But, so this already has become a better alternative. Yeah, and time flies so fast, guys. You guys are going to sit there and you'll understand, like, where Jerry is, like, you know, you guys are picking on him for telling what day of the week it is. Um, really, guys, you know, we'll date ours as much as we can, but, you know, they, you know. Right. I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's not, it's going to be maybe a couple of days, you know, like I said, the whole uh, down to Texas will be one video. So probably we'll base yeah. it run either by run, run by run or you know, we'll figure out a thing, but we'll get into a routine. In the long run, more people were shocked when I told them what we were doing, but then after they thought about it and I explained why we were doing it, they were very envious and they were very jealous and wished that they themselves could basically just pick up everything and go and do something like that. So. Get a little of this one here. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, other than that. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Just take it easy. Um, hope you guys enjoy the videos. I'll be trying to do what we do as much as we do. Um, she'll be in charge of the camera more than I will now. So if you guys don't get videos, she's the one to blame. I just got to drive. <laughs> then there's the cheddar cam, which is this one. Right. Which now we have a light. So at night you can come and go, this is the truck driver sleeping. I'm going to poke him and see if he gets angry. <laughs> oh my God, he's angry. He's angry. We'll probably grab the camera. I've got lots of pictures of you sleeping I in the know. truck already. You are evil. This is why Linda and Jerry don't truck drive together. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> You'll be begging to get off that truck. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so we're going to get out of here. This has gone way too far. Um, I'll probably have to do some editing, but I'll Always. talk to you guys later. Always way too far. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?